Um, Minister, you'll be aware of the major pressures GP out of hours service face across the country. South Dock, uh, the Cork and Kerry service is having issues recruiting staff, um, especially in rural areas. That's resulted in some of the services not running. Local GPs and their staff are already really overstretched and they can't be expected to provide the out of hours cover also. Um, what are you doing to address this issue? Um, thanks very much, Deputy, for the question. Uh, GPs are contracted under the GMS scheme to make arrangements for their patients to be able to make contact outside of normal practice hours and commonly GPs are working uh, with cooperatives to, to do this. South Dock is an excellent service, uh, provides a really important service to, to people in Kerry and in Cork and I want to acknowledge the commitment of the nurses, the doctors, the other staff providing the urgent out of hours uh, care in Cork, in Kerry and uh, those working with GP out of our services through the, through the country. Nevertheless, I recognize, uh, and it, it's implicit in your question, that coverage is not perfect. There are concerns. I know, for example, that around Castletown Bear, there are difficulties in recruiting locum doctors, and sometimes that means patients are having to travel uh, further than, than is ideal for the use of South Dock services. I'm also aware of concerns about provision in Fermoy, uh, although I am assured that, that, uh, there, that, that, this, that there, there are no plans to change the service there. I think there are some local concerns that there's going to be a, a, diminution, a diminution of the service. Mm. South Dock, is, it, it is a private entity. It's got over 500 GPs and 26 treatment centres uh, and 19 vehicles. So to, to the question, uh, Deputy, South Dock really as a private entity, it's up to South Dock to hire in as many GPs as they can. But I do think there's more we can do. So at the IMO conference in Killarney, uh, some of the doctors there involved in Out of Hours, they asked if I would convene a national forum for Out of Hours so that they could come together, share what's working, share what's not working. And certainly as part of the strategic review, which we're kicking off now, Out of Hours will be part of that. Some parts of the country are receiving excellent service. Some parts of the country, they're finding it difficult to recruit. Some parts of the country, to be honest, the services are probably run in a, in a, in a, in a more um, uh, productive manner, manner than others. And really what we want to try and ensure is that we have, a, we have consistency of, of good coverage across the country. Thanks, Minister. And um, I acknowledge that about the forum. That's great. Um, I'm just wondering when, and I suppose I'm just not really feeling the sense of urgency from you in relation to it. And I think there just needs to be kind of a greater priority on recruiting and retaining doctors in these services, especially in rural areas like West Cork. Um, like you said, I previously raised the case of Cast Town Bear Service with you, uh, which has been completely unavailable on multiple occasions. Um, and again, that's because of staff shortages and the regular GP staff are doing all that they can. Um, in reply to a parliamentary question, the HSC told me that, um, like you said, due to the reliance on locum doctors and the significant shortfall in their availability, there may be occasions when this additional support is not available. But from Castletown Bear, the nearest South Dock is almost an, an hour away, either in Bantry or in Kinmare, and that's on like, quite bad, narrow country roads. Um, so you can just imagine how difficult that is if you've got a sick child or an elderly parent. Um, another case is the Kinsale service, which was closed a number of years ago, despite huge local opposition. Um, that's a large growing town that Go. should have a dedicated Go service. On. Yeah, thanks, Deputy. And I, I, I fully acknowledge that, and particularly around Castletown Bear and, and other areas. It is a great worry um, for parents or for anybody, really, to think that it might be you know, a, a long and difficult drive uh, at night to, 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 to the, to just to get a GP. Um, it, it's not something we want to see. So there, there are several things we, we can do, there are several things we are doing um, which will take time but which will make a big difference. So for example, we're tripling the number of GPs in training. That's going to take time to result in the, the, the more GPs that we need, but it is going to re result in a substantial increase in GPs. And so really the question for us is, in the meantime, in the next kind of one, two, three years, four years, what can we do? We're working with the ICGP on international recruitment. They, for example, have a, a project where they're bringing in GPs from South Africa and other countries. They're particularly targeting rural areas like uh, Castletown Bear, like many of the areas in your own constituency. Uh, and there's more we can do, like bringing a, 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 bringing a forum together uh, yeah. and, and seeing what else can be done through the upcoming strategic review. Um. 
Thanks, Minister. I suppose just, I think it just needs to be, you know, kind of more of a priority because it's really vital care and really needed by people, not just in West Cork, but in other rural areas, I suppose, as well. And I understand that those things can take time, but there's also, I think, kind of a lack of joined up thinking and utilisation of resources. And that can be frustrating for people in those areas. There's South Stock Services under pressure. And then at the same time, Bantry Hospital Medical Assessment Unit only opens from nine to half four. Um, extending the opening hours of this unit isn't only important in itself, but it will help relieve the stress on those South Dock services. Um, the absence of those services in turn adds strain to the few ambulances operating in West Cork. Between Bantry, Skibbereen and Castletown Bear, there's three, and then ordin the three ordinarily operational. They might go somewhere else and then they're gone somewhere else from there. And then there's one rapid response unit between 7am and 7pm. So after that, then there isn't one. Um, so each of those systems is under-resourced, and then that puts additional strain um, on all the healthcare workers in the area. Um, so, Minister, I think we need to take more of a holistic approach to it, and South Dock needs more staff, Bantry Hospital's um, Medical Assessment and Injury Unit Denmark. needs to be open for longer, and we desperately need more ambulances. And Tara. Thanks, Stephanie. Uh, Bantry situation, we are expanding access to medical assessment units as part of a, uh, an expansion to, to in urgent care. The National Ambulance Service, in fairness, um, if there is a shortage of fleet in your area, I'll certainly talk to them about that. We've invested a very significant amount of money this year and last year. They're, they, they are expanding and modernising their fleet. They're hiring a lot more and training up a lot more paramedics and advanced paramedics. So the ambulance service, it's not there yet, but actually it's, it's quite rapidly moving in, uh, moving in the right direction. But I'll, I'll raise the, the, the concerns with the National Ambulance Service. The, the other thing that is going to help a lot in your constituency is there is a very significant investment going into CUH, going into Kerry Hospital as well, going into the Mercy. Um, and whilst they're not located in the rural areas, um, they, the, the fact that there's, there's more capacity there is going to make a difference at a regional level as well in terms of the, the more localised services you've referenced. But I'll certainly uh, raise the issues you, you, you have with the HSE. Thank you. Now, on kid.